Uh, today we're off to Cornwall on the job, would you believe? Um, going to look at a housing development site down there. And we have got the van motorhome part of MOT. There's Owen doors loading in at 7 o'clock. Uh, hopefully we're ready to go, except she hasn't put the step in. Way nicely heading down to Devon's Road, Cornwall. I just wondered uh, if you think we've got enough screen to know about our home. Two rear view cameras and two sound bags and a bit bonkers. It's a lovely day, but we're on the dreaded A12. Here we are, as ever, approaching the Henge. We like to film the Henge. And as ever, and as always, there's a traffic queue. I don't know if it's just rubberneckers looking at the henge, but there's always a queue here that you can stop for strawberries. Uh, once again, we're actually passing the henge. You can see how busy it is today. Incredibly busy. Ah, lots of people at the henge. There's a closer view of the henge. We've made it to Cartgate, we've been here before, very good, well it's more than halfway stop, but uh, there's the old jalopy parked up, and I'm rushing across for a wee. So I'm busting, didn't need to know that. I thought I'd get myself an all day breakfast, don't know, and George is just had a sausage bowl, Puppies had a drink and tying up. Well that was one of the best fried breakfasts I've had in a long while. Little stink won't drink water normally. Oh, she is. Oh no, she don't want that. Slobber in that. Yeah, so a nice little place to stop. There's lots of uh, benches and you can take your own stuff. And a uh, cafe, which was quite reasonable. That all day breakfast was 9 99 so I'm not complaining about that. Lots of parking. Alongside, if you're in a motorhome or caravan and car, normally parking spaces over there. Toilets were okay, they weren't the best. I could recommend this as a stop. Well, we're proceeding down the A303, heading for the M5 at Exeter. And we were saying how pretty and quick it was, and got held up in a bit of a hole now, just some bloke turned right. Right, onward and onward. We left sunny Suffolk, and we now feel like I'm with Heathcliff on the moors, in the dag of the dew. Great joy. And I can see a little eating shack called Peckish and a reception and Owen Doors has gone to check in. Little stink is lying there. Oh, we've got ourselves a lovely pitch. We rocked up by the babbling brook. The weather's took a turn for not so good, but that's not cold. Here on the field, just gonna have a cup of tea and then we're gonna go off and look at my job I've come down here for. Very nice. Pleased with this. Walked up at the Tesco's. I've done my site visit. We're at Tesco's getting some supplies. We're just about to squeeze the jalopy in here. We're heading back to the campsite now, and we seem to have got ourselves in on a small Devon road, which is the way when you're in Devon. But uh, we'll see how the old jalopy does it. Well, we seem to have rocked up in uh, Tavistock on our way back, going the back way. I'm rather glad we did. It's rather beautiful. Take an exit to A386, then so enter. We're back again. At the lovely spot by the river. There were people swimming in the river, children and their dad, so we're going to do that in the morning. This is the river, what, Cuff and Tay? Oh, we don't know what the river is. I haven't got a clue. And there we are, there's a little stink getting tied to that. We've managed to coik the bench. And uh, it has been raining, but it's not cold, which is nice. This is a nice little field, this one. Got the good old favourite, what we call Murray's barbecue on the go. Little stink has had a tea. Oh, and they're indoors as family cigars. So good old. Can't find the other charcoal, but we're all right. We've got enough. Always nice when you get your little barbie going. You can use this as a fire pit as well, but you're not meant to have fire pits here. You can have barbecues, which is interesting. 
listen to the river running. Look at that beauty. All the way from uh, Lanzarote. Starting off with a couple of sweet corn. And Poppy's wandering off. They've just had a swim that family in the river. Having good fun. Right, well, we've got sangria in a plastic jug. We let the old... Uh, we've got what's called sweet corn. Now the mutton meat's on. Yeah, lovely. Her indoors reckon that's rather a lot of meat. What a hog gut look. Well it isn't, you said that's what we've got to eat and I've put too much on my plate now. Oh, too much on a plate. Last bit of chicken cooking. Nice. Nice. Second day and we've woken up in the van. Just going to go and have a little look at the river. We were going to go for a swim over this morning but we think we're going to go tonight. Most likely. Quite fast flowing. And the uh, plan is possibly to go to Tintagel Castle today. Yeah. Hopefully the sun's coming out. There's some signs of it over there. Yeah, it might be coming out. I mean, doors, what's she doing in the van? Well, oh, she's inside the van. What are you doing in there, I mean, doors? Making it to a what? what? Making it from bedroom to living room. Making it from bed to daytime, she says. Had a little flight of the drone, that was quite good. Yeah, let's see what the campsite's like. It's really good, the facilities here. But really, really good to be honest. Oh, it's a nice little beach place here. Oh, that's interesting. Stony beach on this river. I really ought to find out what this river is. But we've chosen the, uh, obviously the riverside pictures. Oh, that's interesting. Can't canoe it, unfortunately. Very rotten. Very nice campsite, we'll come here again definitely. Right, so I decided as I've got crocs on, I'd go in and have a little paddle. Treacherous rocks probably fall over. See what the temperature is. Oh, it's actually quite warm. Very warm in fact. That's no problem to have a swim. Interesting how that one rock there creates that sort of pattern.
bit of bacon on our little cheese stove. This is a bit of These really are good stoves. They're about 20 quid. They all fold up and fit into that box. Very versatile. Yeah, we can cook everything in a van, but who wants bacon stink? And you can sit outside and cook. And now a nice little fried egg sandwich with bacon. Oh, and doors is cut as in half. We're on the road now, the weather's a lot better. This was just all shrouded in mist when we came yesterday, so very pretty down there. We're heading off to Tintagel Castle and we're hoping to find what claims to be the weirdest pub in England. Down there, look, if you look, is a tin mine. Well, what was an old tin mine or lead or some sort of metal mine? Can't look at it be. This is lovely. It could be a bit tight, I'm sure it is, but you can stay here for five pounds a night. But we're just parking, but we'll make a note of it and probably will stay here. Rather nice for five quid and all queuing up the pay. Five quid for all day, which is pretty good. <laughs>
easy. Very busy, we don't even know all the castle car park. That must be logical. English Heritage, so we've got our tickets. Quite a walk down and a steep old hill. King Arthur had to do that, of course, in his uh, regalia. But as Erwin Dawes just pointed out, we've got to walk up, which is the hard bit. If you want to pay the money, you can get a Land Rover trip. We're making our way, wending our way down to the castle and the bridge. Um, Poppy's being a pain. Had to have a poo right on the thing with all those people. Look at those beautiful poppies over there. Not sure if um, I'd be too scared to go over the bridge, you know, and me. There's a little stink, stink, of course stink is King Arthur. Not a lot of people know that, but she was King Arthur in another life. Aren't she having doors? She's been everywhere. But she's King Arthur. Are you right, darling? Oh, that's Right, we've rocked up at the second ticker booth. You can go over here with our ticket. Alright, we're well, just entering the zone, I imagine. As always, I'll give a detailed narration of my extensive knowledge of Tintagel Castle, Castle, which is zero. Look at the number of people. Well, that's the bridge I've gone across and I didn't like it. I went across there right quick. Horrible. So I'm guessing this is the castle. Where is King Arthur and he's a round thing? Sure, the camera's not catching half of it. We was having a little roly poly. Oh, I wouldn't want to be that near that. He's going even nearer. Just give me the willies. I don't like it. Don't get any closer. Absolutely stunning. Doors just said that has been worth our membership to English Heritage or is it National Trust? I don't know. Which is it? No, National Trust or English Heritage.
blowing quite holy up here. I know indoors reckons I don't know my geography so I never guess he was North Cornwall. Ah, what does she know? Down the viewing point looking for a statue, expecting some huge thing, and it is up there. It's like the Yoxford man or the Yox man we were expecting. And it's tiny, about human size. Poppy likes it here. And yet another incredible view just around the corner. And loads of people and the statue. a little place to stop and have a sit in what was probably someone's scullery and what has the stink found somewhere to roll have you found their stink if you don't care about the view just snuffing for our rat just waiting for our indoors to come out with the fish and chips aren't we pops just a waiting i don't think she knows where we are so she'll probably go the other way up the street Indoors got the chips and like good English people were sitting in the car park eating them. There you are, plate of fish and chips. Not bad, £7.95. Right, well the sun's a shining, it's all lovely and we're getting in the river. Wind is blowing, but we were getting in. Although indoors are getting in, I might pretend. Be careful you don't slip over. Clamber down the rickety rocks. Anything could happen. Well, here she goes. In the plop. She'll be a whinging. There'll be a lot of whinging. I would just go for it. Go on. Go on. Make sure there's no rocks to hit. Do the old one, two, three. She's in. Right, well, he's in, she's getting out, but it is what I would call a pretty cool. So let's do a gurgle and see if we can see anything. Gurgle, 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 gurgle. Gurgle, 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 gurgle. Right, I think it's time to get out and get a drink.